Welcome back to Phytex Tech Tuesday. This week we're going to go over wiring an Ultimate LS EFI system. In this video, we're going to go over all the connections with the Ultimate LS system and dive into what each connection does. The wiring harness of an LS system may appear rather intimidating at first, but it is actually rather simple and straightforward. On the first end of your LS wiring harness, you'll see the connection point for the ECU. LS systems have a significantly larger ECU than those of other systems, but they still follow the same plug and play principle of other Phytech products. This means all you have to do is plug it in and it's ready to go. After the ECU, there are two single wires stemming from the harness. These are going to be the red key on wire and the orange fuel pump wire. Next is our accessory harness package with the Ultimate LS system. None of these connections are required for the functionality of the system, but there's additional outputs here that will make running the vehicle much easier. The first two that are most commonly used are gonna be electric fan number one and two. Both of these are a ground side trigger and are designed to go to the negative side of the trigger of a relay to turn on the electric fans. The next two major connections are going to be the TAC and Speedo. These are voltage outputs for a speedometer and a tachometer on the dash of your vehicle. So if you have a digital dash, you can run these wires directly to their gauge cluster and you can give output for speed and TAC. Next up is our AC request wire. The AC request is meant to go to the positive post of the compressor clutch. So the system knows when the air conditioning comes on, so it'll stabilize the idle and can even kick on an electric fan. And the last one is our brake switch wire. This wire is looking for 12 volts constant and zero volts when you're pushing on the brake. This wire is crucial when you're using an automatic transmission like a 4L60 or a 4L80 for torque converter lockup or unlock in that case. So when you push the brake, the system will automatically unlock the torque converter when you're using this wire. Right after that is the handheld connection port, the same you would see on other Phytech systems. Next to that is the relay and fuse box. This diagram from the manual shows the specific location of each fuse. After that, there's a single ground wire, one of two that go to the engine block. This wraps up the first third of the LS wiring harness. Moving on to the middle of the wiring harness, you'll first notice a short connection port. This is where an adapter for the first of two O2 sensors goes. Some Phytech LS kits only come with one wideband O2 sensor, and others come with two. Be sure to check before ordering your system. Next up is the vehicle speed sensor plug. After that, you'll see two transmission connectors these will only be utilized if transmission control is used. If the system supports trans control, a sub-harness will be included in the kit and the software will be programmed to accommodate it. Transmission control is not included in all Phytech Ultimate LS systems, so be sure to check before purchasing. Following these, you can see the crank position sensor wire, the red positive wires to the starter, and the MAP sensor cord. Right next to those is the passenger side injector harness connector. Whether you need to use the EV6 or EV1 injector harness, they both clip in the same way. After this, we see the driver side coil pack connection. Coils and coil pack sub harnesses are not included with the kit, but can be found sold separately on the Phytech website. Following that is the knock sensor wire. A labeled sub harness is included with the kit. After that, you'll see the second of the two O2 sensor hookup points. Next to that is the cam plug. This also has a labeled sub harness that comes with the kit. Moving along, you'll see the driver side injector connection. Next, you can see the second ground wire, and after that, the driver side coil. Reaching the end of the wiring harness and rounding things out, you'll find five connectors going to the idle air control, coolant temp sensor, throttle position sensor, the alternator, and the intake air sensor. So I hope that answers any questions you have with wiring an Ultimate LS EFI system. Please refer back to the instructions on the wiring diagram. The wiring diagram explains what each color wire does and where the proper location is for that wire. When you first get your Phytech EFI system, when you choose to mount your ECU, it's always important to mount with the connector pointing down 
We put the lettering this way for a reason. We want moisture to go over the connector, not to get caught inside the connector. If you have any additional questions, please comment them down below. Also visit our website, phytechefi.com, and visit the support tab for additional Tech Tuesday videos.